Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my skincare mask edition. I'm going to be talking about clay masks, sheet masks, peel off masks, pretty much all the masks that I really, really enjoy and also some that I'm just now trying out. So if you guys are interested, then just keep on watching. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is actually a facial scrub. So this is the Ula Henriksen Pore Balance Facial Sauna Scrub. And this scrub is actually for oily skin and it contains volcanic sand, green fusion complex, neem seed oil, and AHAs. So this scrub is super, super amazing. I've been using it for about three months now and right off the bat, I fell in love with it. So this mask is very unique because it has a warming and cooling sensation and I've never, owned a product that has really done a warming and cooling feeling on my skin as much as this has and I really enjoy it. I feel like my skin feels very very fresh. It feels very clean and I like that I can use this and my skin doesn't feel irritated at all. So the way that I like to use this is I put this on the palm of my hand and then I'll rub it in and once it makes contact with your face it automatically starts to warm and it is such a nice very relaxing feeling I would say and as you rub it in it just warms your entire face and then it starts to really tingle and cool and it's not a super annoying almost painful tingle I wash it off and my skin feels super smooth it looks brighter I feel like my oils like all the bad oils are gone and it doesn't completely strip my skin which is a very very good thing and I'm really trying to get the toner but uh, it's been out of stock when I finally decided I was gonna buy it I checked online and it was out of stock so I'm waiting on that so these next four products are actually my most favorite to use and it's in no particular order but I'm gonna start with this one this is the origins original skin retexturizing mask with rose clay and this is the mask that I was referring to in my original skincare video when I said that moisturizer smelled exactly like this mask it's because this one also contains contains willow herb in it and it also has the rose clay and jojoba beads which create a very very fine scrub. You'll see a pattern in this video. I really like masks that can be a scrub and a mask in one. I feel like it really cleans my pores very deep down and it gets rid of all of the gunk on my face. So I feel like this really tightens my pores and it pulls all of the dirt out like I said. I feel like this helps me with breakouts, not super super intense breakouts like a mask I'm going to talk about in a little bit but I feel like if I have like a little breakout coming in or if I can feel it on the inside of my skin I can use this to help make it less intense I guess and the way I like to use this is I use a clean foundation brush just like a flat brush and I put this all over my skin I do an even layer and wait for it to dry I would say it takes within 15 to 20 minutes to dry and then I um, use warm water and I just rub my face and get everything off and my skin feels super smooth. I think the jojoba beads really help with that and my skin looks softer. I don't know if that's even a good description but my face just looks like it has like a blurring effect to it. The only downside I would say is that your skin can feel dry if you don't use moisturizer right away so make sure that you moisturize really well afterwards and you'll be good to go. My next product is actually a very popular one in the beauty community and this is the Glam Glow Gravity Mud Firming Treatment and I'm sure you guys have seen dozens of videos on this and pictures and everything. It is such a fun mask. First of all, it's aesthetically pleasing. When you open it up, it's a silver mask. Like it is very very cool to take pictures in. It's pretty much chrome whenever it dries and I think that this mask, I don't know if anyone else thinks this, but it smells exactly like the old school Aussie 3-in-1 hair treatment, the uh, deep conditioner. I used to use the original one before they came out with like all the different ones like the volumizing, the hydrating, and all that stuff. So this mask comes with a little brush and you use it, you dip it into the jar and put an even layer all over your skin. I like to make sure that the edges are very thick so it peels off really easily. And 
and I let it completely dry. So for me, it would be between 15 to 30 minutes. So whenever it's completely dry and I've taken all the pictures that I want, I will peel the mask off starting from the bottom because it's supposed to be better for your skin to pull your peel off masks up rather than down because pulling it down can create wrinkles over time. So you take everything off and whatever you can't get off by peeling, I usually just use warm water and um, just wash it off and then I pat my skin dry and I'm telling you your skin will look bright right away it is like an immediate thing so I really really enjoy using this mask right before an event I know that this is an expensive product but I really do feel like it makes a difference in my skin and it gives you immediate results this next mask is probably the mask that I've been using the longest and it is from Lush it is the mask of Magnum Minty this mask is amazing for breakouts. So if you guys don't already know, Lush is an amazing company. They are so committed to their customers and they're committed to the environment. They're constantly donating portions of their profits to different charities and organizations. And also all of their products are fresh and handmade and they're good for you. They don't use any bad chemicals in their products and I think that's really amazing. I've had dozens and dozens of jars of these but this is actually a new jar. It looks like this. It looks like mint chocolate chip. It smells like mint chocolate chip. It has little ajuki beans in it which create an exfoliation whenever it dries. So what I like to do is I also take a clean foundation brush and I will use this all over my skin. Usually whenever I'm having some bad breakouts I'll use this mask. Once the mask is completely dry I will take warm water and I'll just rub it in and really really work it into my skin and rinse it all off and your bad oils are gone your breakouts subside it's really really nice what this can do for your skin this actually contains honey which helps soothe and moisturize your skin and it also has vanilla which help with redness if you have had issues with acne try going for something a little more organic or a little more natural see how that works for you they are also really good about giving samples and they're such nice people if you walk in I've also used this as a spot treatment whenever I have a bad breakout or a pimple somewhere pop up I will use this overnight and just put a small dot of it on and then rinse it off in the morning and it really does help get rid of the redness and the inflammation next up I'm going to be talking about a few sheet masks and my favorite sheet mask is this one right here this is the leaders in solution balancing recovery mask and I buy mine from Ulta and they usually go on sale which is awesome this particular one is my favorite the balancing one and I really really like it because I feel like it really calms my skin whenever it's going a little crazy and it also helps moisturize my skin. I enjoy using sheet masks for morning use or like daytime use if I'm going to be putting makeup on again. I usually use my heavier masks at night. My favorite type of sheet masks are usually gel masks. I don't really like the cotton ones. I feel like the gel just really sticks onto your skin a lot better. So this one comes in one piece and it's just folded up in the packaging. Whenever you open it this is actually actually soaking in the serum so you pull it out and then you unfold it and put it on your skin and you keep it on for 15 to 20 minutes it doesn't really hurt to use it longer honestly I've done it for way longer and it's been fine on my skin but I'll put a sheet mask on hang out around the house um, clean a little bit watch TV whatever I want to do just relax and then I take it off and whenever I take my mask off I'll use whatever serum is left in the package and I'll scoop it out and I'll put it like on my neck on my chest area and just really rub everything in so I like to just rub that all in maybe for about a minute a minute and a half and then I rinse off my hands some sheet masks have the tendency to dry and feel a little sticky so I like to just take like a paper towel or something and just pat off the excess that didn't get rubbed into my skin so I have a couple other sheet masks that I really like to use and honestly I'm not super picky about my sheet masks because the thing with sheet masks is that they are very gentle for your skin but they're effective the reason I really really like sheet masks is because they're usually really targeted to one problem area of your skin 
And the great thing about sheet masks is because they're so concentrated, you can use a different mask every single day and your skin will be completely fine. A couple of other masks I have on hand, I have this Dr. Jart water replenishment mask. This one's really great. It is a cotton sheet mask, but I don't really mind it. This is really nice if you're just looking for some hydration in your skin. And I also have the Dr. Jart rubber mask for hydration lovers. It's a really nice mask. It's not my favorite. Like I said, it is a little more pricey. I think that one is usually around 12 bucks. Um, so if you're not into that, you know, there are plenty of three, five, seven dollar masks or sheet masks that you can try out that are just as good. The next mask that I have is just the tiny baby one. This is the Junk Elephant TLC Sakari Baby Facial Mask. It's supposed to resurface your skin and really break down all of the bad and dead skin cells on your skin to reveal like softer, brighter, better skin basically. And I do like this mask. I feel like it is very effective, but you have to be consistent with it, which is really hard because for one, it's really expensive. And two, I like to switch up my mask. So just sticking to one is kind of difficult for me. You just pump a couple pumps in your hand and then you do an even very thin layer on your skin. And you're supposed to wait about 20 minutes and have it on your skin. And then you can wash it off. And and this one actually doesn't dry down on your skin. It always stays very wet and moisturized. Sometimes I feel like it kind of itches my skin, like it has an itchy sensation to it. And don't get it in your mouth because it's a little salty and it's really, really weird. But anyways, um, yeah, I wait like 20 minutes and then I'll wash it off and my skin feels really nice and soft. So this mask I've kind of had a love-hate relationship with for a few years now. This is the Origin drink up intensive overnight mask and so I'm not quite sure but I feel like whenever I use this too often it breaks me out because this is a heavier mask it's an overnight mask so obviously it's going to be a little thicker than your regular ones and it smells really good I think it smells like pears I could be completely wrong but that's what it smells like to me or apricots I'm not sure. What you're supposed to do with this is you're supposed to put it onto your skin at night and it has kind of like a jelly feel to it and you just put it all over your skin and go to bed with it. And in the morning, you're supposed to have very moisturized, very soft skin. But for me, whenever I started using it and I was doing it overnight, it just felt like too much for my skin. And this was when I had dry skin too. So I feel like it was just too much in general and it started to clog my pores and break me out. I started to use it and only keep it on for about 10 minutes at night and then wash it off. And I felt like that was the most effective for my skin personally. So if my skin is feeling really parched, I'll use this mask, but I don't use this super, super often, only whenever it feels necessary. So the next two products are actually very new to me. First is the Dr. Dennis Gross Clarifying Collodial Sulfur Mask. And this is a very interesting mask. So it has a top like this and it has the hole right in the top and you're supposed to just push it down and the product comes up, which is really cool and it's very sanitary. But whenever I was using it pretty often, it started to not come out and I was trying to shake it up just to get the product to move around and come back up but it wasn't working so I ended up having to just take it off and use a foundation brush to put it all over my skin, which is fine, but I don't know, I felt like it kind of sucked that it stopped working. But if you move the product around inside, cause it is kind of thick, then you can get it to work again. I just feel like that's kind of a hassle. So this particular product is supposed to help with acne and I started using it because my friend really recommended it because she said sulfur is supposed to be very good for your skin whenever it comes to acne. Basically what sulfur will do for your skin is it pulls out all of the impurities and the oil and debris from the inside of your skin, pulls it out to the surface and then it comes off. I saw that you could also use this as a primer, which I thought was really weird, but you're supposed to use a very small amount and spread it all across your face and it's supposed to help throughout the day because it fills in your pores and it's supposed to fill in like lines and wrinkles in your skin too. I've yet to use this as a primer. I will try it out, but I'm kind of scared. I, I don't know what it is, but using a mask as a primer just sounds so odd to me. Every time I've used this, I feel like 
like it's really helped with the oils in my skin. I can't necessarily say that it's made my breakouts go away. Like my Lush mask, I feel like that will completely change my skin overnight. Maybe I just haven't been using it enough for it to really work on my acne, but I've tried it as a spot treatment as well, and I think that it helps keep the spot from getting worse, but it won't really bring it down much. I don't know, I don't wanna judge this completely and write it off, but I am gonna keep using it, keep trying it, and I'll keep you guys updated. The next product I have is this. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peel, and I just have the five treatments in here, and it's supposed to be a two minute skin fix. So you're supposed to take these packets and start with step one, and just massage it all over your skin until it's dry, and then wait two minutes, and then go in with step two. Now, I've used this a few times and I really liked it. I feel like it was really, really great whenever I wanted my skin to look really nice um, without makeup. It really made my skin look fresh and it made it look bright. A really big downside to this is the treatments are very expensive. I would really only use these whenever you have like a big event coming up or you aren't gonna be wearing makeup for some reason for a while. It can dry out my skin a little bit afterwards if I don't properly moisturize, so just be aware of that. And you wanna make sure, because of the chemicals that are in this peel, you wanna make sure that you really take care um, in the sun. So you don't want any like direct sunlight on your skin. It can really irritate and burn your skin. So just be aware of that. All right guys, and that is everything for my face masks. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If there are any face masks that you guys want me to try or are curious if I've ever tried them, please let me know. I would love to talk about more masks. I'm always down to try a new mask. So yeah, that is everything. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.